Well, hello, my friends. It's Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom Be Pal Picks Edition. And thank you all for the people that came over and supported the channel and myself to be able to give you this fine picks daily by going over to the Patreon. Uh, if you would like to be part of the Patreon family, hit yourself down in the comment section and say, I would like to be part of it, and I'll give you a $25, I'll give you the $25 package for free for a month. In fact, right now, you'll get it for the rest of this month and then the month after that. We're hitting tennis, we're doing World Journey Championships right now, I've been a little bit voodoo, I have to admit, I haven't did well in this, but I'm getting better now that I'm getting to watch the games a little bit. Baseball picks are coming in. Uh, we're doing well. So, we only have two games tonight. I thought I'd do a quick video for you before my show. You can see me on my show between 3 and 5 on this channel, my live stream. Uh, it's called the NHL Pearls of Wisdom Show, coincidentally. Uh, 3 to 5 Eastern, 5 days a week. Had it yesterday. Going to do it again today. It's lots of fun. Go check it out. We talk everything hockey. All right. Let's look at our picks for and the weekend. By the way, I I um, think I'm. Um, it's it's been a very even playoffs, huge on the during on the regular season, but the playoffs have been a challenge. But that's what makes it fun, right? Right. Challenge is good. Challenge is fun. Okay, let's look at uh, the two games that we got going on here: Toronto versus Montreal. This Montreal team is poorly coached, and that is. Uh, their main problem, I would think, the other problem that they have is they just have, they have Suzuki and Kokini, I mean, uh, up the middle as their top two centers, and they are pretty much the top two centers, and uh, they're too young. You just give this team, you could, this team's got to percolate a little bit, grow a little bit as a team. Um, Bergevin just kind of mishmashed a whole bunch of players. Anderson, of course, we know came over. And, uh, you know, they had Allen come in. Um, and it's just kind of a mishmash team that hasn't been able to gel together in a season where you didn't have much practice and all of that. You, they may have a better chance next year. Um, just why not? Let's look at Montreal for a second. Um, and we'll see some of the problems. Also, um, Ducharme, to me, is just over his head here in the NHL. Uh, honestly, that's the coach of the Montreal Canadiens. Right, he brought over to Foley. He brought over Josh Anderson in the trade uh, for Domi, which was a very risky move. Uh, he's not afraid of risky moves. They got Philip Dano up here in the top line with Anderson. He's not a top-line center. The guys you need to be your top-line centers are Suzuki and Kokaniemi. Can you guys see that all right? Let me move this over. Yeah, here we are. Uh, Suzuki and Kokaniemi are the guys that are going to have to be, and they're just super young, 20 years old. Kokaniemi is only 20 years old. Suzuki is only 21 years old, and you're asking them to be basically the top two centers on a team. It's just not going to happen this year. I don't think it's going to happen in this game either. I'm going to be going with... Uh, I'm going to be going with uh, Toronto to win. I'm going to go with Toronto probably to win the rest of the games this season. I know Carey Price has looked probably the best he's looked in a while, at least since last playoffs. But Toronto has way too many guns, even with Tavares out. Um, too much experience. You have Felino up the middle on the second. Now Lyon is still fine when you're going up against a kid. You know, Felino's an experienced guy who's been in the league for a while. He's got hunger to win a cup. You got Thornton there, who on who on the ice is kind of mad, but he is a lot in the room and helping this team grow as a Stanley Cup team. And then Nylander has been playing some of the best hockey of his career right now on the wings for Toronto. Um, I don't think Montreal just has enough to be able to combat anything that... Um, that uh, Toronto gives. They also brought in Edmondson and a few guys on defense, but honestly, this defense is fairly average. So Toronto, I'm taking Toronto. I'm going to go on the money line. I mean, if you want to risk it, I could see going in reg here to get it up to closer to double your money. 
Um, I just think that Toronto is outclassy is has is outclassy Montreal pretty much all over the ice, even in goaltending. With Campbell has been playing well. I mean, Price probably has been playing better, but it doesn't matter when you're taking shots like Montreal is against Toronto. So, um, Toronto money line. As far as a total is concerned. They usually keep Montreal usually keeps the games tight. They do have a good enough defense to, and and not only that, this is uh, is this an? I don't think this is an elimination game. This is not an elimination game. So, um, I, I'll sway the under here. A playoff game, usually it's it'll to keep it to the under. Price will keep if he's playing as well as he has. He should keep the goal totals down a little bit. Even though the last one, they got blown out five one. I'll take a chance here that Montreal comes back with a better defensive plan and uh, keeps Toronto down below five and a half. Nashville, Carolina. Um, in the beginning, this is funny because in the beginning of this series, I said, watch out for Nashville here. Uh, this is not going to be an easy out for Nashville. And then Carolina came out and just played like a machine the first two games. And I thought, okay, I was wrong. Well, here we go. Nashville goes home. Can't take that. Uh, you have to take into account Nashville's home fans and the way they are crazy. The whole, all of fans in the NHL should be like Nashville fans. Um, they the whatever that organization has done, they have got the fervor for hockey there in Nashville, and they cheer like a son of a gun, and it helps. And it helped Nashville. Grind out two wins. Now we go back to Carolina, 2-2. Two, two. I think this will probably be a low-scoring game. Nobody wants to make a mistake that's going to cost their team to go uh, down 3-2 to two here. Uh, Nedeljkovic didn't have his best game last night, the last game, and that's kind of concerning. That might be a factor of the young player playing in a crowd or a, in, a, in a building like Nashville. A little bit overwhelming. He's back at home now. A little more grounded. I'm sure Brendan Moore will have his confidence back up again. He's a great young goaltender that I think will bounce back and play well here. I'm going to take Carolina on the money line. Um, I'm not, I know the juice on the money line that you're giving up is not great. If you want to try it in reg, but with Nashville's pushback right now, I think I'd be just happy to pull out half my money and get out of this. Um, and I'll take the under. So that's my full 42 as far as that is concerned. Um, we can go back and look as far as the, the, the games are concerned. Um, I didn't have picks, but if you were on my Patreon, of course, you would have got the picks for these games here. So we'll quickly look at them since we have a little bit of time. Uh, we'll quickly look at the picks from yesterday. And... Uh, Pan, uh, Lightning, what was that, May 22nd, Sunday, May 23rd, Monday, there we go, yesterday. Uh, Penguins versus, I cannot get the side on this. I had the Penguins, but I also had the under, so it was pretty much a wash. Every time I, 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 I didn't catch the sides on this, I never really liked this series, it, it, except for the fact that I give the, the sides and totals for every single game on here because it can help maybe if you've got a better lean on it. Uh, maybe you're using other cappers and they're saying the same things and that's helping you with your picks. Great. But maybe like, for instance, the under on this, I really like the under a lot better. We got the under, but I didn't like the side. And uh, here we go. We went into overtime. When I'm doing that, I should really think, you know what, if I'm bouncing back and forth here, go for ties. Go for ties. Uh, Leafs over Canadians. We had the under and we had the Leafs. Uh, basically price kept them in this game and, uh, the Leafs did Leafs things probably could have been a worse score. I think you may see a more of a lopsided score in the next game, but, uh, Panthers versus lightning. We had the Panthers as soon as they put right in, I had the Panthers here, like the Panthers with Spencer Knight, not right. Spencer Knight in. Hopefully, I mean, they got to go back to Spencer Knight the next game. I may take the Panthers again. We'll see. Um, but I also, unfortunately, had the over, and the over didn't come in. Uh, Jets versus Oilers, I had virtually nothing on this game. I hated this whole thing. Um, 
I do believe I had the over and I had, well, no, I think I had the under and the Oilers, but for nothing, like virtually nothing. I didn't like that series. And I'm an Oilers fan. It was disappointing, but not all that surprising. Their bottom, uh, their bottom six. I thought they might get past one series because the Jets came in here soft, but their bottom uh, two lines are deplorable. I've been saying it all year, and uh, Holland's gonna have to do something there to bring in some real grit warriors into this lineup that can play. Simple as that. Uh, Wild versus the Golden Knights. I had the Golden Knights here. I also had the over. It was pretty much a wash. Um, Golden Knights should have won. They outshot them like ridiculous. Um, Flurry had a bad day. How often that's going to happen? And how do you predict that that's going to happen? Like, it just doesn't happen. So, anyways, that was our weekend. Did you have a great long weekend? I know I did. It was, I had a really awesome long weekend. Awesome hockey. I'll be back to you tomorrow to give you a couple more picks. Until then, have a great day, everybody. Subscribe to the channel if you could. Love to have you stick around and, uh, and definitely comment in the comment section. I love the comments in the comment section. That's my favorite part of doing this. So have a great day. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.